Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone Channel. Uh, I'm standing inside my little tiny home here. You can tell I'm a health food freak. I'm going to try to pull this video off. I only have two hands. I don't know how, how well I'll be able to do this, but I want to show you something. This tiny home is solar powered. I'm moving kind of fast here because I don't want this to be a long video, but you'll notice there's a couple lithium batteries there. And inside this cabinet here is the solar equipment. Thus, any off the grid solar home, I hope you're not getting too dizzy. That's a sleeping loft up there. Any solar powered home has super high dirty electricity. Extremely high. So, here we have a static shield electromagnetic interference meter. This is a dirty electricity meter. I'm going to plug this in and drop the meter. And you can see here that the peak millivolts is about 2400, which is incredibly high. I have it marked. I have notes to myself here. So this is one outlet. And I'm, I'm showing you the tiny home without any of the static filters, dirty electricity filters plugged in. This is extremely high. I had this one at 2125, peak is 2049. Here in the bathroom, I measured it previously at 2317. All right, these are incredibly high readings, and this is caused from the DC power on the solar panels being inverted over to AC power. And that slaps high frequency transients onto the line, which is also known as dirty electricity. All right, this is incredibly high readings. This is a 24, 2434 millivolts in terms of high frequency transients. Now, watch when I plug, I only have two hands here, but watch when I plug the static device in. All right, so at this outlet, we're down from about 2433 peak all the way down to 340 millivolts. That's a gigantic drop. And I'm showing you the efficacy of the static devices. All right, so this one's still very high. I'm going to plug in the static device, pure power plug-in. And look at that drop from 2485 down to 353, roughly. Again, I, I'm doing the best I can with only two hands. Here's another outlet. 2835. Let's plug the device in. all the way down to 397. Let's go to the last one here. So this one's already lower. This was at 2601. This one's already lower because of the other ones we installed. But let me plug this last pure power plug-in in. And look at that, all the way down to 57 millivolts. And so I leave all these plugged into my tiny home to make a safer environment in terms of dirty electricity. Let's see what we have going here. We were at 
2317 peak millivolts. Now we're down to 220, 225. Now, I'd like to see it get down even lower, but this is absolutely fantastic reduction for a solar powered home. That's fantastic right there. This peak was 2433 millivolts, all the way down to 31. So, as you can see, this is a way to remediate dirty electricity. In a regular on the grid home, the reductions would be even larger and more impressive. But I am showing you reductions of dirty electricity in the most extreme situation which is a solar-powered home. Solar-powered homes are very challenging to remediate, but they can be done. Uh, this is the older style SATIC pure power plug-in. The new ones have a different colored light and a sticker on them. But needless to say, this is a very, very impressive reduction. All right, thanks for watching.